five sneaky signs men give before they cheat. In this video, you will discover what are some of the most important signs for you to pay attention to that you may actually miss, but I'll give you an ind indication that your man is headed in the opposite direction. Now, of course, I'm of course your host, Antje Boyd, founder and creator of the Magnetize Your Man Method. And look, if you are new to my channel, then this is the channel where we create and magnetize the man for you who not only desires, but also pursues you forever. Now, of course, if you're also ready to finally know when he's deeply in love with you by his responses, comment below with I am ready now. Now, of course, if you like my background, my outfit, the content or anything else in this video, please give it a like. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well. And lastly, sharing is caring. So if you find this content helpful, share it with a girlfriend or two. Discuss this over a glass of, of champagne um, or tea, how this has actually come true in your reality and how you can shift that. All right, so let's go ahead and dive right into the five sneaky signs men give before they cheat. So number five is he is moody, right? It's it's really interesting. Like I see that sometimes like I'm watching right now, Love is Blind, um, season two. And, you know, you can just kind of see this person is like more moody around the other person because they don't want to be with them. And they kind of almost secretly sort of hope that you almost like ended with them, you know, that you're like upset with them so that they have, of course, an excuse to get out of the house. Or I can say, well, you're always the one, you know, who's like hm, 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 all the things. And of course, the moodiness is also happening because, of course, there's a parts conflict inside of your partner, right? You know, when when somebody is, uh, you know, consider cheating, which means he has already an eye on someone. Um, he's probably already talking to someone and he's like just on that precipice, so to say, like he's of course a massive tension inside of himself that he has to somehow justify to himself. Right. You understand that? Like we never do anything that we can't justify to ourselves. Like it's just not going to happen. So he has to become like moody um, also to himself because he gets like annoyed and aggravated because he's this constant tension inside of himself. Now, if you watch this for the first time, comment below from which country you are watching from. Number four is guilt gifts. Now, this is definitely true when you're already in the middle of the process of being cheated on. But it can also happen, uh, you know, like before the man cheats because he can already feel his intention. So he wants to kind of balance it out, right? Again, he has to justify it to himself. Um, and he also has to keep you, of course, like somewhat, you know, like, like grounded and content and unsuspicious. And how does he do that is by sometimes like being over giving with gifts. And, you know, if you just feel like, you know, this, right? Like, it's so funny when you have kids and you come home and, um, or if, if you don't have kids, you may have watched it on TV, right? And you come home and they out of the sudden the house is clean, you know, the dog is fed and you just know, hold on a second, you know what I mean? What's going on? What, what just happened? You know what I mean? Like, what are you trying to, you know, like, you know, why, why do you want to put me in such a good mood? What, what are the bad news? Right. And so same is true for the guilt gifts, right? He's like, they're giving him ahead of time uh, to you. So, you know, you should be like, wait a minute. You know what I mean? This is not what's normally happening. Uh, it's not our anniversary. It's not my birthday. Uh, what's going on? Why is there already a bouquet of flowers for the third time this week? Something you can just feel it, right? It's just out of balance. It's just out. It's just disassociated. It makes no sense. It's out of context. And you can just tell that something is just slightly off. Number three, it's a little bit your opposite. Now, this is, goes along with the moodiness, which is he actually criticizes you. So again, it comes, of course, from that unconscious parts conflict that he has inside of himself, right? And he also, you know, he compares you potentially more to the woman that he's like planning on 
uh, cheating on, he may also not be happy with himself. And then he projects that onto you, right? So if he doesn't like himself, he projects it onto you. And then, you know, that he doesn't like you. Um, in, in reality, you're literally just a mirror of what's going on inside of himself, by the way. I'm just saying, you know what I mean? Um, and that then leads to, you know, can lead to him cheating, right? Because he wants to actually find like a new way, a new mirror, which of course is not going to happen. But that's what he hopes. So he can distract himself from himself when he doesn't like himself, right? Uh, he wants to create a state change. Um, and he, of course, can only create that short term when he cheats. Um, but yeah, this is like, this can be a sign that he is about to cheat, right? When he's like, wow, he criticizes me for things. He never criticized me before. Like, what happened? What what did I do? You, you kind of feel like that, right? You're like, what happened? Like, what, what's going, what's wrong with you? You know what I mean? Like, why all of a sudden so mean all the time or so annoyed all the time or so whatever, fill in the blanks, right? This content again, please give it a like and subscribe. Number two, the attention starts to diminish. And this of course makes perfect sense because he spends more time on Instagram liking Instagram models' uh, pictures, uh, dropping into DMs, right? Hanging out with their coworker, uh, whatever it is, right? So of course the, atten the, the attention diminishes because it splits. It goes on one hand to you and on the other hand to that person that he is now considering cheating on, right? Um, and again, it's like more about like, is this already like a pattern? Have you already, you know what I mean? It's like, hmm, this doesn't really make sense. Normally he pays way more attention to me. Um, and he just doesn't, right? He's more easily distracted. And it really seems like he's a little bit in a different world because girlfriend, he is in a different right? So something to really pay attention to. And lastly, that what goes along with that is he's in general, he's picking fights, right? Because when he picks fights, again, he can blame you. It's almost like as if he's already, um, you know, just preparing for the cheating and then blaming you. Well, well, it's because, you know, because we're fighting all the time and because all the things, right? And it's your fault, it's not my fault. Then they would have to deal with the shame, which of course is the worst thing that a man can actually deal with, right? So it's, it's more about fear. Men is more about shame. So they try to avoid shame. And then the other reason is also when they pick fights, they get to leave. You know what I mean? They get to leave the house and they need to leave the house to cheat. You know what I mean? So if everything is great, they can't just say, oh, hey, babe, I'm like, I'm kind of go, I'm leaving tonight. You know what I mean? Like, but if they pick a fight and they're just like slam the door, they're out of the house, you know, and then don't come back for like, who knows, 12 hours or so, you know, that's definitely gives them an opportunity to, to cheat. So those are the five sneaky signs um that a man really gives you before he cheats now if you want to learn more about like how to attract the right man for you into your life so you don't even have to deal with that because you have a congruent aligned high quality man in your life then hop on over to magnetize your man um mymquiz.com this m y m quiz Dot com and find out where you stand right now and get some surprise gifts and bonuses from me as well. And also, if you haven't done so already, watch next when a man deeply loves you, he'll start saying these five things. Lots of love to you. I'll talk to you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.